Hey everybody, this is Sean with Photo Solutions Market, and today we are going to review the Heroes series. And you can find this on photosolutionsmarket.com underneath the Sports Solutions Limited Editions category. And uh, we're just going to go step by step through each one of the designs, both version one and version twos. Uh, the version 2 just came out recently and uh, some people were interested in on how these templates work. Uh, I will tell you that if you're familiar with uh, any of the designs that I've made um, for all of the other sports, they have usually a lot, a lot of layers uh, of customization that you can deal with. With the Hero series, a little bit more of a simplistic approach. Um, there are still layers of things that you can adjust and move around but uh, these are a lot um, I'm not gonna say watered down but they are definitely uh, have a lot less layers in them that doesn't mean that you still can't adjust things and move things around but that's the whole point of this video so let's get started uh, we're gonna start with volume one and these are gonna be the ones that are uh, version ones and this one right here is the one for um, Marines or Navy and we're just gonna go kind of go through the layers on on things and volume one was very um, Much the the point of volume one is is to be able to just quickly take a photo of one of these people Replace it change this text down here and be done with the template especially in this design now There are things that you can move around um, you can get rid of, you can do things, uh, but first I'm just going to turn off the subject here. Obviously you would replace the subject with your subject. Um, you could always put more than one person on here, that kind of thing. It's really up to how you want to use it. Um, but this one does have um, all of these layers listed on the right, um, but the background is uh, a background that I put together and it is um, pretty flattened down. So if I take that background out, actually we'll start from the top. Um, so we have our text layers. Uh, to edit the text, uh, it's as simple as just using the text tool. You can change this to say whatever you want by just typing. Uh, and the same with the line that is below it as well. That is also an editable text layer. So your text is editable. You can move it around. You can turn it off. You can move it, that kind of thing. Um, and then we have the rest of the template. Now, say, uh, for example, the rocks, you can remove the rocks. So if you wanted to get rid of that, make it more of the water area there, you could turn that off, move it, do that kind of thing. Uh, the main rock over here um, is also removable. Um, you have the flag, which is removable. Um, you have the rock here that's removable. So you can remove the rocks in this one and get it down to without having rocks. Um, and then we have the boat, um, which has all of these different elements uh, that create the scene of the boat. Uh, so you can take the flares off, the, um, the guns there, you can take the water sprays off, and ultimately the boat, and then the water sprays behind the boat off. And that leaves you down with this last background layer. Um, so this is like I said, you know, it's not really a template made to, to change colors um, or anything like that, um, but this one is a very simplistic look. So there is that one, that is the Marine Navy version one. So let's move over to version one of the EMT design. Uh, this one has again layers, not so much color changing, however, you could change the color. Um, we'll go ahead and remove the person here. Uh, and you have the same thing as you did before, so all of these are editable text layers. Uh, you can edit this and make it say whatever you want, uh, even if, say for example, you just wanted it to be the person's first name, so you could retype it to be the person's first name, and you see it keeps all of the same features there. Uh, you can change um, the color of the word with the stroke and the inner glow. So say for example, we wanted this instead of to be blue, we wanted it to be red. Uh, you can double click on stroke, there's your color blue. We can go ahead and change that to red. And we can also come down here to the inner glow. And you can see that's set as white. So if you wanted to, you could change that inner glow over to blue and it gives it that look, but obviously white is where it would be. 
So you can change that over to be a different color uh, in that text thing there. Uh, so the other thing you can do is also change the color of the uh, heartbeat monitor that's coming through the middle here by double clicking on your hue and saturation and you can change that by just dragging this bar to different colors. Uh, you can also click on the colorize button here at this point and get a more accurate um, color on color pick on the color wheel up here. Um, you do lose a little bit of a dimension when it comes to that line but uh, that can be color changed there. So go ahead and undo that. And so we'll turn that off. We'll come down here. We've got this logo. Obviously, if you wanted to change that logo out um, and keep that same kind of uh, seeing through the image, uh, you would see that this is set on color burn. And what we would do is just right click and say copy layer style and then drag our logo in and be able to paste the layer style there. Um, you also have uh, the wings that you can change, the stroke and inner glow, just like we did with the text. Um, and then we just have some other elements all the way out. Um, a lot of these were made with images uh, that I took. Um, so these are police lights. They're not actual graphics. So these police lights are an actual image, and so is the road. So these items, you know, obviously if you wanted to change the color of the police lights, you really can't. Uh, unless you do some kind of uh, adjustments to that layer, which you could always do. Uh, one quick way to do that would be to desaturate that layer, um, turn it black and white, and then you could always do just apply a color overlay maybe um, and change the color there. And obviously you do lose some dimension by doing that. But again, that's not the point of these templates. The point of these templates is to be something very quick and easy. Um, you can remove the grid if you don't want the grid to be there. Uh, that is another layer as well. So we'll move on to the next one. And again, like I said, volume one was, it was, it was really meant to be something very simple. Pop the image in, change the text, and be done with it. So um, and this is a, another good example of that. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and turn off of our person. And in this one is really down to that fact. You know, we've got the fire on the buildings. So we've got the fire in the middle that we can turn down. So if you wanted to turn down that fire, you could turn that off. Uh, you could remove some of the smoke, uh, some of the fire, and then you're left with the buildings in the background. Um, and then, again, the text is editable just like the other ones are. So that is the Fire version one. And then we come with American Soldier. This is, again, version one's very simple. Again, you see all of the different layers that you can move around. You can turn off all of the light flares if you want to. Um, you can turn off the American flag and replace it with something else. Um, you have the ground that you can remove, um, the different textures that are over everything. Um, it's really just a, a bunch of different images layered on top of each other, which is a lot different than, uh, you know, other things. Uh, obviously, the smoke can be turned on and off, that kind of thing. Um, same thing with the text. Again, you can edit all of this text like normal. And we'll get into the next one. This is the Air Force one. This one has uh, the planes. So if you wanted to take the planes out, um, those are individual layers. So you can take out all of the different planes. Uh, the light flares that are above the planes you can remove. Um, you also have the different textures that just create the environment that this is in. Uh, so um, if you wanted to change colors of things, again, you could always do add a color overlay or adjustment layer. So for example, on this blue haze, if you wanted this uh, blue haze to be something different, um, you could always uh, change that blue haze um, by maybe even adding an adjustment layer of a uh, hue and saturation and you could mask that into that area there and you could colorize it and then you could change that color to be red, yellow, green. So you could change that color to really be anything you want by just adding that adjustment layer. And there's a whole tutorial on adjustment layers. If you click on contact us and go to the uh, knowledge base uh, where you can adjust, uh, see how you can do that. But 
very quickly you can see how you can add an adjustment layer to something um, but those are all of the layers that you can see there again text is editable through the text tool alright so we'll go to the police um, the police one does have uh, individual layers in here as well but again it's kind of like the um, EMT one where it's a lot of environmental uh, layers uh, obviously if you wanted to change colors of things uh, you can uh, you could always change the city skyline that's in the back here uh, you could always turn that off uh, and replace it with maybe your city skyline uh, for example or maybe a picture of a street from your city or town uh, and put it back there behind that um, you know the road is something that you can turn on and off um, always change the colors on that police lights are just like the police lights that are in the EMT design again an image of police lights not graphics so you wouldn't really color change police lights anyway so I don't know why you would want to um, however these um, light flares that you see on the right and left these you can color change by double clicking on the hue and saturation and changing the color just by sliding that bar just like we showed it again so you can change those colors if you want but again these are themed for the actual person so this is a police officer so these are all police kind of looks um, so that is version one now version two we got uh, also you can uh, remove the helicopters I forgot to tell you the helicopters and the helicopter lights are removable and that also means that you can grab them and move the helicopters around we don't have auto select turned on you can grab the helicopter and you can fly that helicopter anywhere you want to you can have these helicopters all the way over here anywhere you want to put that helicopter you can put it or you can turn it off just by turning it off so that is the version one so let's move over to version two because this is uh, the brand new series and everybody's asking about so version two uh, is got the American flag in it and depending on which template we're looking at we've got a couple different things uh, some things carry over from version one in the way that they function for example the police lights uh, are the same police lights that we have from version one so these again are not editable in the way that if you wanted to move them around or readjust them uh, but they can be turned on and off um, now we also have the light flare that's on this bar right here uh, and this you know signifies the the blue line for police officers obviously um, but you can change that uh, all that is is a pasted um, We'll go to all the way, turn all these off, and I'll show you the flag here. So here's the flag uh, in the background. So you can see this is blue. So if you wanted to move that blue line, all we would have to simply do is just take our paint bucket tool, uh, we'll go ahead and grab some blue, and you could move that line up here just by paste, just by paint bucketing while you're selected on that, and then we can turn that other one back gray if we wanted to um, by just pasting in a gray color just like that and you can move that line around well, I'm gonna put that line back alright so let's talk about how we change some other things in this template obviously the text is the same same up here all of this text is editable through that um, and then you have your light beams over here um, which are the hue and saturations again which all you'd have to do to change that is to double click and you can change what color you want that beam to be. You always can um, adjust the saturation if you want it to be a little bit stronger, uh, but obviously it's set on blue because that's the color of the bar. So that is the uh, Heroes Police version 2, and um, also, if you were wondering, you can turn the smoke off and other layers as well. So again, these are very simple templates. These are not crazy in depth but you can see that there is still you know some things that you can change on here um, this is going to be very similar uh, the one thing that I'm going to talk about in this template is uh, I'm just going to give you a preview these are all the layers over here um, a lot of these you remember for example the boat 
Uh, and, and, and everything I'm showing you, I'm showing you in the horizontal version, um, they all work the same. So the, the vertical version is going to work exactly like this version, and the panoramic is going to work exactly like this version uh, in the functionality of it all, and also in the layers as well. So the first thing we're going to talk about is these light beams. Um, we've got all of the light beams. You can see turn, we can turn them all on and off at once. Now, one thing somebody asked me is, is I said, no, we can't, we can't edit this. We can't take them away. You can. What I've started do, using now, and you may see this happen a little bit more in the future, is I've started con condensing some uh, things down into smart objects. And this is one of those things that's been condensed down to a smart object. So you can see here it's got the little smart object icon. So to open this up and edit these light flares on this template, because there were so many of them, I didn't want to clog up the whole template with it. All we have to do now is just double click, and that is going to open up the light flares over here. So now we have every one of these light flares, and I'm going to add a layer at the bottom of this, just so you can see them. And I'll go ahead and paint bucket black. So there we go. So, so we can see all the light flares here. So you can go in and independently click on the human saturation and change each one of these light flares, ind flares individually. Or you can actually go ahead and remove a light flare, light flare if you want. So let's just remember we removed this light flare and we turned this one green. Okay. So once you're done, you just close this. You say yes to saving the changes. And then once it is done, it will update the template. So you can see right there, it updated it. Now, however, if you notice, I accidentally left that black background in there, so the template all went funky. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. If you do that by accident and forget to put that back, that's what's going to happen. There we go. So you can see that light flare right here is no longer there, and that light flare turned green. So we have that. Uh, we also have a couple different things in here. Um, but again, some, a lot of these are not meant to be color changed. For example, the blue right here of the flag, that's really not meant to be color changed because that is the blue section of the flag. Um, but that is also something that you can turn off. Um, the fire in this layer is its own layer, and you can turn off the fire. So there's a lot of different layers in this one that you can deal with. Uh, we also have some streaks that you can see going in and out. You can turn all of those off as well. So that is it for the Heroes, Marines, and Navy Volume 2. Now the police one. We have the same setup. I'm not going to go through this bar again because we talked about that with the police one. It works exactly the same. This one's just been paint bucketed red with a red... Uh, flare here but just to show you the layers we can turn off the fire we can turn off the fire in the background as well and again very simple template nothing that needs to be a whole lot of things to be changed to it um, but as you can see that is how you would do that so that is the police officer I'm sorry the police officer this is the fireman version 2 same thing here um, same changeability as we saw on the first version of this applies here as well. Same bar as the police and the firemen. We have the same uh, situation here with being able to change the color of the light beam that comes through it. Um, and then pretty much all of these other elements are also layers that you can change as well. So most of this though, this is a very very simple template on this one. Okay, so then we go to the soldier. Again, we have all of the streaks. We have the light flares that we can turn on and off. Uh, we have all of this kind of stuff. Um, now the light flares again, just like that one, you see is a smart object. So that's how you edit that would be double click on the smart object. Uh, you can also turn off the camo. That's a layer that you can turn on and off. Uh, so if you wanted to just a camo template, we could turn off all these layers and now we have a camo template right there boom something you didn't even see from the outside so American soldier very simple and the last one is our Air Force again 
Uh, same thing with the light flares, you can change those. Every one of these flags, you can see here, these are all red, so we can change those over to be uh, black and white if we wanted to by just desaturating that layer if you want to. But with this one, I went with just a straight, regular flag look, the blue with the stars flag. Um, again, you can turn off the jet and the bomber. Uh, you can turn off the light flare. You can turn off all of the different elements that you see there. So that was the Heroes Edition. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or uh, hit contact us and submit a support ticket. Hopefully this answers all of your questions and uh, gives you an idea of what you can look at when it comes to the new Heroes Edition and uh, the old series of the Heroes Edition. Again, very simple templates, not meant to be crazy changeable. Uh, very, pretty much just a, you know, take the image, put it on here, change the name, and uh, get it, get it to the printer. Uh, no need for a lot of customization on these. So that's it for me, guys. If you have questions, like I said, give me a holler and check out photosolutionsmarket.com for these templates and many more.